Hi everyone, let's look at the answers to PSLE booklet 2009 to 2013, the topic on geometry. Question 1. In the square grid below, which shape is a rhombus? So let's identify a rhombus. A rhombus has four equal sides. So from here, we know that this is not a rhombus, this is a parallelogram. This is a rectangle. This is a trapezium. And so question option four is a rhombus because it has four equal sides. Question two, which of the following shapes is a rhombus? Again, we know that option one is a rhombus, option two is a trapezium, option three is a parallelogram, and option four is a trapezium. Question three, P, Q, R are three cities on a map. P is north of Q. This is north of Q. And P, Q, R is 45 degree. In what direction is R from Q? So from Q, Q is the point that we look at, we take reference to. So R is north, north east of Q. This is east of Q. So R is north east of Q. So option number one. In the diagram, P, A, B and C are three points on the ground. Point A is north of B, so this is north of B, this is B, B is the point, and angle A, B, C is 135. So now I want to find what is the direction, What in what direction is point C from point B. So from point B, we take B as a reference, point C is north, this is south, east and west. So point C is southwest. So answer is option four. Question five. In the figure shows an eight-point compass. Ali is facing southeast. So Ali is facing here. This is the point of reference at first. He then turns 135 clockwise. We know clockwise the clock moves this way. So this is called clockwise. So let's find what direction is he facing now. 135, this is 45, 45, which is 90 plus another 30, 45 degree. So this whole thing is 135. So he would have point, he would have face west. In the figure, PQRS and P, S, T, U are rhombuses. Which of the following pairs of lines are parallel? We know parallel, they do not meet. So let's look at parallel means lines do not meet. Q, R and S, T, they are not parallel. This is Q, R, this is S, T, they are not parallel. Q, R and U, T, this is Q, R and this is U, T. Can you see that they are parallel? So option number two. Question 7. In which two lines in the grid square are perpendicular to each other? Perpendicular means it must be 90 degree. So from here, we find that this line and this line are perpendicular. So answer is option number 4. BE is perpendicular to AC. In the figure below shows 11 identical cubes which are glued together to form a solid. The whole solid, including the base, this whole thing is dipped and painted blue. How many cubes have three of their faces painted blue? So let's identify a cube has six faces. So if two sides are glued, so there will have four sides. Let's take an example. For this cube here, this face is glued, this side is glued and this side is glued. So you have two sides. So you have four faces that will be painted. One, two, three and the bottom is four. Similarly, this one has one side and two side glued. So you have four sides that will be painted blue. One, two, three and the bottom four. Okay, let's count for the rest. For this one, you have one, 
this side and this side so you have four faces one two three and the side four faces how about this you have one side glue two faces glue three faces glue so you have three faces that will be painted let's look at this cube here you have one face two face and the the next face here so you have one two three will be fake painted blue next this cube you have one face been uh, glued the top and the bottom so three faces so remaining three will be painted blue here you have two so you have four faces similarly this is four faces the one below this top uh, right you have two faces painted because three of its sides one two four of its sides will be glued so you have two faces and the one at the bot bottom uh, right you would have three similar to this so you have one two three four four cubes have three faces painted blue the top half of the symmetry symmetric figure is shown below is shown above x y is the line of symmetry which of the following completes the symmetrical symmetric figure so i know that the next if i draw out this and this must be shaded this is one blank one blank so this must be shaded so we know that option two is the answer in the diagram below shows N, A, M, E are drawn on the square grid. How many above are have line of symmetry? Line of symmetry means there must be a line where it will reflect the same. So the answer is 3 which is A, M and E have line of symmetry. N does not have a line of symmetry. The unit shape in the tessellation above is a, let's look at this, this is one unit shape and this unit shape is a trapezium. In the figure shows a cube, which of the following is the net of the cube? So we know that option one is the answer. The figure shows a pyramid, which of the following is not a net of the pyramid? This is a net of the pyramid, this is also a net, this is also a net. Option 4 is not a net. In the figure below, PQ, PCD is an equilateral triangle. Angle CBA is 70 degree. Find angle Y. So equilateral triangle, we know this is 60 degree. And where angle Y is, this is angle at a point. So angle Y would be, I take 360 degree minus... 70 degree minus 60 degree and the answer is 230 degree option number 3 question 15 in the figure AEC and BED are straight lines so this is a straight line AB is equal to BC is equal to CD angle AED is 110 and angle CDE is 30 degree so let's look at this. I know if this is a straight line, this would be 110 degree because it's vertically opposite angles. And I've, if I want to find this, I can find this, which will tell me that this angle would be 70 degree because I take 180 minus 110, which gives me 70. This is also 70 degree. So from here, let's find this angle. This angle A, B, E lies inside the triangle, this triangle. So first I must find this angle. In order for me to find this angle, let's look at this triangle which gives us a clue. Triangle B, C and D. Let's look at triangle B, C and D. Triangle B, C and D. 
is an isosceles triangle because this side is equal to this side. So if this is 30, this is also 30 degree. So now I can find this angle. This angle is inside this triangle. Angle B, C, E. So angle B, C, E is 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 110 degree which is 180 degree minus 140 degree is 40 degree so I know this is 40 degree now let's look at the bigger triangle now angle A, B, C this they are the same so we know that if this is 40 this is also 40 degree now I can find angle A, B, E which is this triangle A, B, E lies in this triangle A, B, E lies in this triangle so now I can find so it's 180 degree minus 40 degree minus 70 degree and the answer is 70 degree option number A piece of paper in the shape of an equilateral triangle is folded along the dotted line. So equilateral means I know this is 60, this is 60, and this is 60. So this is folded. So when this is folded, I, I know that it's the same triangle. So this must be my 60. This must also be my 60 degree. This whole thing must be my 60 and this is my 60 degree. First, let's look for this angle. What is this angle? So I take this angle would be this triangle. Look at this triangle here. This angle is inside this triangle. So I take 180 degree minus 102 degree minus 60 degree which is 180 degree minus 162 degree the answer is 18 degree so this is 18 degree this triangle and this tri this side of the angle is similar they are the same so how to find angle X so angle X will be 60 degree minus 18 degree minus 18 degree and the answer is 24 degree option number 3 Draw two straight lines to form the symmetric figure with XY as the line of symmetry. So if this is the line of symmetry, okay, how do I draw the line? Let's count. I know this point is here. I can count 1, 2. From here, I count 1 and 2. So this is my point. And let's look at the bottom. Bottom, I have 1, 1, 2, 3. From the line of symmetry, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. This is my line of symmetry. So these are my points. So I just draw using my ruler, please, if you have a ruler. So this is how the figure will form. The figure below is made up of square shape, two more squares, so that the figure has a line of symmetry. So from here, we know that there is a, this line of symmetry here. So I shape one and one because this and this they would be the same the pattern below shows a part of a tessellation extend by drawing two more so let's draw i know i can draw one here i just have to follow my shape let's look at this shape which show me how to do this shape so this line is straight down i know this is straight down next I draw here and I draw here. This is one shape. Another shape I would have would draw from the bottom, which shows me here. This is my line. This is my slant. Now I go down and I go straight. So here I have my two sh unique shapes. Question 20. 
extend the desolation by drawing two more now let's look at this now there desolation must always follow a